Welcome cuties, let's create. Today I'm drawing my Easter outfit. And I know this is a little, you know, a couple days late, but I just wanted to do it because I actually really like enjoy, I really enjoy drawing the holiday outfits. And so this one, I had a sketch of maybe this girl bending down, picking up an egg in the grass, but I didn't like it. So I ended up doing this girl that was kind of like jumping and holding a basket and being all cute and excited and whatnot. Um, so then I go ahead and I erase because I'm like, okay, I don't want this garbage looking stuff <laughs> to the side because it looked a little weird. Weird, excuse me. And so I went ahead and kind of wanted a more sketch. I wanted her to be young. I wanted her to be, you know, more of a childlike um, picture, but you tell me how old you think she looks at the end. Um, so what I do sometimes to do the shoulders or the arms or you know whatever is I draw big circles for the shoulders, medium circles for the elbows, and then smaller circle circles for the wrists. Then I went ahead and do squares for the hands and then kind of these pointy triangles for the fingers. And um, then I do you know kind of medium large for circles for the knees tinier ones for the ankles just so I kind of have proportions and then triangles for feet and as I was drawing this I was like okay let's focus on her hair and <laughs> She kind of ends up like He-Man. I've never seen the cartoon, but I know what he looks like, and I feel like <laughs> she looks like He-Man. And I was trying, because shoulders are not square. They kind of slump, and they're more of a gradual, they're not so like broad and like boom. But I ended up erasing her arms because they were too long and I felt like her shoulders were looking too broad. She was just looking like a man and <laughs> I wasn't a fan as much as, you know, we need men, but I'm drawing a girl, not a man. So, and then the other thing is later I'm like, no one stands like that. Why <laughs> do I always have, I always draw feet like that and I don't know why and it's like, why why is this happening so anyway i drew thinking of a little girl and thinking of you know their dresses they kind of always have this ribbon waistline that's like way too high of where the waistline actually is but i kind of had it where it was and i gave her a headband i kind of thought you know maybe flowy sleeves kind of this scalloped lacy collar I moved the headband down, maybe thinking, you know, maybe that will make it look better. And then I was like, you know what? This is my sketch. <laughs> Why am I trying to make this look so good? So I was like, maybe I'll have her feet facing forward instead of to the side because she's facing towards us instead of, you know, I'd, I don't know what you would call that, but it's like ballerina feet. <laughs> the, you have two feet that are facing in opposite directions. And I was like, maybe I'll give her bunny ears. That does not end up happening because also I kind of forgot about that. But I, yeah. So I was like, maybe I'll give her tights that have polka dots. Let's give her an Easter egg basket with some eggs in it. And I was like, I'm pretty happy with the way this is looking and how it's turning out. So. Then I go to sketching. Um, and I also brought her arms up so they were a little shorter because they were way too long. Her hands ended up touching her knees, I guess you could say. And if you stand up with your hands to the side, your hands kind of go into the middle of your thighs. So I had to shorten those. I ended up having her closer in this one. And if you look to the side and if you're studying your face, you kind of have this indent where your eye is and your ear follows almost exactly back from where your eye is, just a little lower. And so that's why she has an indent kind of where her eyes are to fill her nice round cheek. I also made her rounder because I was like, she's little, but 
it ends up getting skinnier. Then I connected the eye line to her nose because she is kind of facing the side, where if she's more straight on, we're not gonna have that complete curve. I also want to get better at mouths. I draw mouths closed because I, I'm not really good with them being open. So here's my attempt for kind of an open mouth. I think it, it, anyway, we'll come back to that. I decided to do just a plain rectangle shape and not give too much curve to it because I just love it when kids are cute and chunky and chubby and they're just so adorable. And so I, again, this is an attempt because I feel like I draw, my characters always end up looking youthful. I don't know what, but older, young adult, young adults. They look like young adults, I guess is what you could say. And then I was like, oh, I'll have her legs down. And then I was like, oh wait, I forgot I was gonna have her kicking up one leg. And so I had, you know, her foot looks a little small, but I end up getting rid of that pose because of the way her dress is. So her legs end up just being straight. And right here, her foot is way too small for her body proportions. So moving on, I gave her eyebrows and the rest of her other leg. And then I skip a lot because I don't, the whole thing I ended up, it was very long. This was an hour long and I cut it down to 15 minutes without having, cause I want you to see my process and I want you to kind of learn from my process, but I feel like you'd get really bored of that. So I tried to cut it down as much as I could without showing too much of the pro, you know, not getting rid of too much of the process. So that's why this is kind of long because I feel like when I sketch, it doesn't take me too long. And if I do it like this, where it's fast, you don't see much of the detail and it goes too fast. So it's hard finding that happy medium. Um, I played around with the mouth because I feel like it was too wide and too big. So I, I ended up switching her nose. I felt like it was too round. I thinned her face. I did kind of the figure eight type thing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch my Valentine's Day um, outfit. I did not um, film me outlining because I feel like that's kind of boring. I'm just tracing the lines that I like. That's all it is. I always use the same colors for my skin. Um, I can't remember what they're called. Let me just hurry and get my markers here for a second. Um, I test wa swatched all the colors on um, a recipe, an index card, and then went ahead and um, just to see if the colors I liked. So I use salmon pink, and these are the Artify markers. So if you end up having the same ones, these are the colors that I use. 25 salmon pink for the skin, because I think it's it's not too orangey. It's it's just a good color. It's I like it. Then I use skin white for the lips, because I feel like they're not too like in your face. <laughs> um, and then I used pale yellow, sky blue, dark blue light, which is purple. <laughs> Pale green. I test swatched a lime green, but it was, I didn't really like the color. So I think those are all the colors that I have. I really struggled with figuring out what colors I wanted her dress to be. I was like, do I want stripes? Do I want polka dots? Do I want, I, I didn't know. And I wasn't too sure. I did have pale light pink as a pink I was going to use and I use it in her Easter basket for an egg and I use it for a stripe in the basket but I didn't like it because it was too neon so I go back later with my colorless blender and 
try and go over the egg because I end up using skin white, which is a very light pink, and I use that in her dress. And because it's muted, the pale light pink was just too neon and bright, and I wanted a light pastel. I wish I had a lighter green and a lighter purple because I feel like they're kind of dark compared to the pink and the blue and the yellow that I use, but it's fine. I mean, it, end up, it ends up looking cute. I end up really liking the colors. I like the color of the pink with the blue. I think it's cute. I was trying to decide, I thought about maybe doing the top pink. I thought about actually doing the ribbon yellow and having the like lacy trim be blue, but I figured that'd be kind of too much. So that's why I end up doing just white lacy trim. Um, and I ended up doing polka dots. I, it's just a go-to. I like polka dots. I think they're cute. And I think since there's so many ruffles and these like creases, it would have been hard to do lines and stripes. So, cause you know, they, it, it's waving. So it, it would be hard. Okay. I, I did, I took the easy way out and I'm not ashamed of that. <laughs> Um, for her hair, I used rose beige, um, and I haven't done a blonde character because I haven't quite got how to make blonde look good without making it look yellow. Because I feel like a lot of the time, you know, when we're younger, we make their hair look like pee. I'm sorry. I have done it. It's just a thing. And I want to be better. I've seen a lot of artists and how they do it. And I, I need to rewatch and kind of study more. And so that's why my characters so far have all had brown hair. Or the orange for my St. Patrick's Day. I love shading with colored pencils. I I don't know why. I think it just looks nice. I like the look and it, that's what I do. So I you can follow this process. Um, I feel like it's quite easy and I can kind of control the pencil a lot more and I can push lighter or darker, you know, where the marker, it's if it's going to be dark, it's going to be dark. Like, you know, you can't really... Yeah. So, <laughs> that's that. Um, but she turns out cute. I give her blush. I think, you know, she ends up looking really good. And I really like her. So, it turned out well. I feel like I haven't really drawn in a while. So, that's why I was kind of excited to... I was like, oh yeah, it's going to be Easter. I need to do an Easter girl. <laughs> so that's why I end up doing her. I am I apologize for the shaking in my, uh, my camera at times. I have this clip that clips onto the table and it has a light and also holds my, my phone, which f I film from. And if I bump the table, it shakes this I guess you could say it's not a tripod, but it shakes it. And so that's, I am sorry <laughs> for the time being. I don't have, I can't do it from my desk because I don't have a good enough light. So that's why I'm doing it from my kitchen table because I have a light that's straight above me and I can also use the light that's attached to the clip. So that's kind of why sometimes it's shaking because it's just on the edge of my table barely hanging on <laughs> so I apologize and as you can see in the corner on that uh, index card I kind of played around with the idea of doing blonde but I feel like I don't have enough of different colors to make it look blonde instead of like pee. so I, it, I don't want her to look like Draco me and my husband have been into Harry Potter and I feel like Draco has like pea hair it's, it's not quite blonde it's pea so I don't want that to happen <laughs> so but let me know what your Easter traditions are please leave a comment tell me how your Easter was how did you guys do it with what's going on and I hope you're all staying safe out there and staying healthy and 
Have a good week. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, leave a like and a comment. Until next time, keep creating.